Now, Kimber, we promise Mrs. Bailey we'll be finished before you know it. Hmm. I never noticed this before. I wonder what's inside. Kimber, look! I found a bunch of mom's things. Why, there are tons of sheet music in here. Yes, their mother Jackie wrote hundreds of songs. This looks vaguely familiar. It's Dad's diary. I remember seeing it a few times when I was younger. Hmm, where does it start? Does does he mention me? Well, let's see. Here's an entry about Rio, March, March 6th. March 6th. Rio, the young boy whose family's just moved next door, came by today. He has a very keen mind. A natural technician. I've noticed that Jerrica's especially interested in him, too. <laughs> Only 10 and interested in boys already. Jerrica, I want to play dolls! Jerrica! Jerrica, set the table for five, please. Rio's joining us for supper. First love. <laughs> How sweet. This is great stuff. Read some more. <laughs> okay. June 30th. We've taken in a foster girl, Aja Leith. She's 11, the same as Jerrica. Welcome, Aja. Welcome to your new home. And that will show you your room. Why is she coming to live here? Jerrica, Kimber, come here and sit down. I want to tell you a story. Once I was a foster girl and was shuttled from place to place without having a home to call my own, never able to share the love of a real family. Now I have my own family, a nice home, and, and a chance to help other homeless girls feel loved. I hope in time you'll be able to share your love too. Jackie has finally decided to resume her musical career. So we've decided to launch our own record company, Starlight Music. I've also set up Starlight Foundation, and we'll use the profits from Starlight Music to support more of Jackie's foster girls. November 13th, our second foster girl, Shayna Elmsford, has arrived. April 29th, Jerrick is still trying to get Rio's attention, but she's not the tomboy that Aja is. I wish she'd forget about her own problems and help Shayna feel more welcome. Mom, how can I get Rio to like me? Oh, I think Rio likes you. Well, then how come he won't pay any attention to me? Well, the first thing you gotta do is stop chasing him. But since you have so much attention to give, how about giving some to Shayna? But she never says anything. Maybe you've just never stopped to listen. You know, maybe you're right, Mom. I'll take us some lunch, okay? <laughs> That's my girl. June 6th. Jackie had a sold-out performance tonight. The audience loved her. And it gave me the opportunity to test my new equipment. Rio is already showing great talent for audio equipment. The master tapes are of the highest fidelity. Master tapes? What master tapes? It's the first time I've heard about them. You know, your mother never got a chance to cut an album, but if you could find your father's tapes... Shayna, you're wonderful, thank you. We can use the tapes to issue a commemorative album of her music, a, a tribute to Jackie Benton. And I know that Lindsay Pierce would love to have Jem and the Holograms do an exclusive preview of this material on her show. And now, a special live performance by Jem and the Holograms of First Love. Written by Jackie Benton back in the 70s. All at once you feel like doing cartwheels. There's someone you're always dreaming.
Exactly. Still a solid tune. Uh, I understand that Starlight Music plans to release an album of Jackie Benton's music. That's right, Lindsay. Just as soon as we locate the master tapes that were made during a live performance back then. Keep looking. This is all the stuff I liberated from Starlight Music when I left. You mean when you were fired? Keep looking. How long do we have to do this? Until we find them. Who cares about a bunch of old songs from some hippie? Bloody waste of time is what it is. Aha! I found the tapes. And with them, I'll get my final revenge on Jerrica Benton. Joe will be right back after these messages. And now, back to Jem. This is hopeless. We're running out of boxes. I'm not giving up until we've looked everywhere. Maybe there's a clue in Daddy's diary. I sure hope so. August 13th, Kimber's in heaven. We've finally taken in a girl younger than her, Leela. Get it, Leela! Get it! Girl. September 5th. Jackie tells me she officiated over a sacred female pact in the girls' club. We solemnly promise to share everything we have and, and to be good and, and true friends forever and ever. And to let nothing interfere with your friendship, even boys. <laughs> even boys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, let us seal this pack with lemonade. Here you go. To friendship. To friendship. January 31st. Jackie and her band are performing out of town again, and poor Jarek is having trouble adjusting to her mother's increasingly frequent absences from home. What's wrong, sweetheart? Why do you have to go away all the time? Jerrica, honey, this is my career. I won't be gone long, and, and you wouldn't want me to miss the concert, would you? If you love me, you won't go! I do love you, Jerrica, believe me. Your attention, last call for flight 909. Honey, I've got to go. Give me a hug and a kiss. No. <sighs> we'll talk when I get back. Sorry, Mr. Benton. Jackie is dead. Killed in a plane crash. Mom! Oh, Jerrica. How can I go on without her? I'd forgotten how horribly I behaved the last time I saw her. I, I wish I'd kissed her goodbye and told her that I loved her. Jerrica, I'm sure she knew that. And feeling guilty won't change anything. I must find those tapes. It's the only way I can repay Mom for the way I acted. February 8th. It's been one week since my beloved Jackie died. Life seems to have lost all purpose, all meaning. Daddy, may we talk to you? Of course, Jerrica. What is it? We'll take care of the house and cook and clean and do everything if only if you won't. Oh, Daddy. Oh, please don't send Shane and me and the other girls away. Please don't. Aja, Aja, of course I won't. You are the finest girls a father could ever ask for. Jackie, you taught them well. I feel I now have reason to live again. May 31st. Have an idea to link music and three-dimensional holographic images. We'll be able to recreate live musical performances in the home of every music fan in America. Get it, get it back! And Deirdre, girls, come back here! Sorry, Daddy. All right, out, out, out! It comforts me to see that Rio and Jerrica are inseparable. At least he'll be there if she needs him. 
November 9th have made amazing breakthroughs in computer-generated holograms. But I must find a new place to work on the system. I need more privacy and quiet for the delicate tasks ahead. Amazing. He was working on Synergy all that time, and we never even noticed. Yes, but there's no mention of the tapes. What could have happened to them? Hello? Jerrica, darling, how nice to speak with you. What do you want, Eric? I believe I have something that you want. What could you... The master tapes. You always were a clever girl. How did you get them? Oh, well, that's not important. What's important is how you're going to get them back. Get to the point, Eric. What do you want? You can pay me off with a cool million. I don't have that kind of money. All right, in that case, just sign over controlling interest of Starlight Music to me. Never! Jerrica, I'll give you until 8 o'clock tonight to wise up. Meet me at my house, or I'll destroy the tapes. What was that all about? No. Jerrica? Jerrica, what's wrong? <sighs> Eric has the tapes. Jerrica! And he's holding them for a million dollars ransom or control of Starlight Music. But we can't give up Starlight Music. Without it, we can't support Starlight House. But we can't watch Mom's music go up in smoke either. Won't lose her again. I won't. Shell will be right back after these messages. find an answer in here. May 6th. For privacy, I've moved my workshop to an old drive-in theater I purchased. I've given my holographic computer a name, Synergy. I must protect Synergy until I can patent my holographic advances, a procedure that could take years. May 10th. <laughs> I must hire someone to oversee my affairs at Starlight Music. It's too much for me to handle alone. So tired lately. I'm gonna see my doctor. May 21st. I've hired a young, aggressive assistant, Eric Raymond. Jerrica obviously approves of my choice. Looks like Rio might have competition. Well, it sounds like you found Eric very attractive at first. I was only 17. What did I know? It gets worse. Listen to this. June 23rd. Rio's home from engineering school for the summer. His first day back, he came straight over to see Jerrica. Eric had come by to pick up some papers from me, and Jerrica got the silly idea to use Eric to make Rio jealous. Oh, Eric, this is a friend of mine. Rio, this is Eric Raymond. He's managing Starlight Music now. Hi, kid. Nice car. Thanks. Glad to see you weren't bored while I was gone, Jerrica. See you around, maybe. Rio? Rio, wait! Rio, it's not what you think! <laughs> it took Jerrica two weeks to thaw Rio out. It was a hard lesson, but one she needed to learn. Poor Rio. I've given him such a hard time. Here, you read. We're getting close to the end. July 1st. Synergy is near completion. I'm now programming her with Jackie's recordings and likeness. Just enough to form a personality base and voice pattern. I can't bear to make her too much like Jackie. July 6th. Synergy is complete. And she's become much more than I originally intended. She can create holographic images of anything. She could be a very dangerous tool if allowed to fall into the wrong hands. She must be kept a secret. I now know that I will never complete the patents. The doctors say I don't have long to live. I've not told anyone, not even my girls. February 2nd. 
I continue with my preparations for my family's future. Synergy is my most precious gift to them. She'll be a friend, mother, teacher, guide, all rolled into one. May 30th, completed one last project. I made a pair of special earrings for Jerrica. Hope to be able to give them to her personally. But if not, I programmed Synergy to reveal her existence to Jerrica and Kimber. I know they will use her wisely. That was the final entry. I understand so much more now. Synergy? Yes, Jerrica. All this time and you... You didn't tell us who you really were. I am Synergy. I am no more and no less. I am your father's gift of love. Now you face a difficult choice. Is there some way I may help you deal with Eric Raymond? Synergy, I'm afraid there's nothing you can do. This time I have to deal with Eric Raymond myself. Ah, Jerrica, how lovely you look tonight, my dear. I didn't come to chat, Eric. I came because I want my mother's tapes. So where's the money? I didn't bring any. Well, that must mean you agree to sign over controlling interest of Starlight Music to me. No, it doesn't. I came here hoping to find some shred of human decency and compassion left inside you. Eric, please give me those tapes. They mean so much to me. You didn't bring money, and you aren't going to give me Starlight Music, is that correct? Yes. And do you want me to simply give you back the tapes out of the goodness of my heart? Yes. I thought you had learned by now, Jerrica. I never bluff. The tapes! Try and release an album out of that. Mom! <laughs> What is it? What's wrong? He burned the tapes. It's over. I've ruined everything. Don't say that. You did your best. Oh, face it. Eric's just a total sleaze. But, sis, cheer up. We may have found a way to recover Mother's tapes. You have? How? Remember that one passage in your father's diary? Here. I am now programming Synergy with Jackie's recordings and likeness. And where would he have gotten the recordings? The master tapes! Yes. There might be a copy of the original tapes deep in Synergy's memory bank. So deep, even she doesn't know about them. Aja thinks she can retrieve it. Can you? Maybe, but there's a big risk. Only your father really knew how synergy works. If I do the wrong thing, I could erase everything. I mean, there would be no more synergy. I trust you, Aja. Go ahead. do it. I've accessed the deepest, most secret part of Synergy's memory. Do these mean anything to you? They look like song titles. Aja, you did it! Try the one called Starlight. Star Stop! 
love you too, Mom. Cherica, there's only one thing I want to know. Where did you find those tapes? Hmm, let's just say that they were in the care of a very old and dear friend who wishes to remain anonymous, okay? Uh, sure, whatever you say. And speaking of old dear friends, I want to make a long overdue apology for that stunt I pulled on you years ago with Eric when you came home from college. <laughs> I'd forgotten all about that. You know, if there's one person I'll never have to worry about losing you to, it's Eric Raymond. <laughs> or anyone else. To friendship. Starlight. Joe will be right back after these messages. Oh, yeah.